Do you feel buried under a mountain of digital clutter with zero motivation to organize it? I get it. And as a digital organization pro who's helped millions here on YouTube, I've got a few lazy friendly steps that make organizing easier than you'd think. By the end of this video, you'll have a simple no stress plan to start clearing the digital chaos without the overwhelm. Let's start by getting an instant sense of control over your digital space. Clearing out those random files, especially on your desktop that are so prominent can make a huge difference. It gives you a clean slate and makes the whole workspace feel manageable again. And here's why this works so well. With everything neatly tucked away or deleted, your focus shifts on what actually matters without the usual visual clutter. Here's how to do it. First, First, scan your desktop for anything you don't need at a glance. If that's the case, delete it right away. No need to keep files that don't serve a purpose. For everything else that needs a closer look, set up a later folder. Just create it on your desktop and drop those files in there. You might also want to sift through your downloads folder to quickly check if there's anything that you would file later and move to your new folder. Think of it as a temporary holding space where you'll drop files you're not ready to sort through yet. It instantly clears the mess while keeping important files with an easy reach. Now here's the key to making the later folder work long term. Set a reminder to review it weekly or monthly. Spend just a few minutes sorting through and moving the files you want to keep into their proper folder or deleting anything that's no longer relevant. Over time you'll notice it takes less and less effort to keep your desktop clear and your later folder won't become just another dumping ground. All right, with your desktop now organized, let's take things a step further by setting up a few essential folders. This is all about making it super easy to find what you need without having to wade through random files every time. There are plenty of sophisticated file management approaches, but we want to keep it simple, fast and lazy, of course. So here's what I would do for both work and professional files. Let's start with work. If you're like me, you probably handy a variety of files for different tasks. So I would set up four main folders to keep everything organized. First, I would create a client's folder where I create individual folders for each client. This is where I store reports, project files or any notes specific to that client. Then there's a projects folder which holds ongoing project work. So each project has its own dedicated space for drafts, timelines or final presentations. I would also have an admin folder for general work documents that don't fit under a specific client or project, timesheets, policy documents or HR files. And finally, I would keep a resources folder for templates, guides or reference material so I can grab them quickly when I need. This structure makes it easy to find exactly what I need on the job without digging through unrelated files. For personal use, I take a similar approach, but with folders that suit home life. I would keep a finances folder for bank statements, tax documents and any other financial records. So it's easy to find exactly what I need come tax season or whenever I'm budgeting. I would have a health folder where I keep medical records, insurance documents or anything related to health. To keep track of family memories, I would set up a photos and memories folder where I'd organize photos by year and event like 2024, family trip or holidays 2023. This makes it easy to revisit favorite moments without scrolling endlessly. And finally, there's a hobbies and learning folder for my personal interests like recipes, language learning resources or workout plans. So I have easy access to things that add a little joy to my day. Once you have these folders in place, you can gradually start sorting files into them. And here's the best part. You don't have to do it all at once. Whenever you come across a loose file, just move it into one of these folders. Little by little, you'll find it's much easier to keep track of everything. Of course, feel free to create your own folders as you need. The goal is to set up a system that fits your life and makes things easy to find. Whether it's adding a folder for a special project, a hobby or anything else that matters to you. The more you personalize it, the more helpful it'll be in the long run. Now, if you found these practical but powerful tips helpful so far and want even more beyond this video, sign up for my newsletter via the link in the description and start making real lasting progress today. 
Now that your desktop is clear and your files gradually find a home, let's bring that same calm to your email inbox. A few simple steps can help you cut through the clutter and focus on what truly matters. A cluttered inbox can feel like a never-ending to-do list and sorting through it is probably the last thing you feel like doing. But here's why a simplified inbox is such a game changer. With fewer distractions and unnecessary messages, you can quickly find what's important and focus on the tasks that actually move you forward. If you're not ready for a big cleanup and just want a quick, effective fix, start with this. First, create an archive folder. Select all your old emails currently sitting in your inbox, and yes, I mean all of them, and move them to this folder. Think of it as hitting reset. With those old messages out of the way, your inbox becomes a clean space where only new, relevant emails come in. It's an instant refresh and you'll still have access to everything if you need to look something up. With your inbox now clear, let's set up a few folders to organize new emails in line with your main digital filing areas. Simply mirror the folders you created in the previous step. It's a lazy approach, sure, but it works and that's what matters. So for work, create folders in your inbox for clients, projects, admin, and resources. Any new emails that come in related to a client, for instance, can be filed under clients, while updates for ongoing projects go into projects. With these folders, it's easy to separate emails by purpose and quickly find the ones you need. For personal emails, set up folders like finances, photos, memories, and hobbies and learning. When you receive an email related to banking, insurance, or a hobby you're interested in, you can quickly file it in its respective folder. This makes it simple to keep track of personal information without scrolling endlessly through your main inbox. To keep the system going smoothly, just spend a few minutes each day processing new emails either respond, delete, or file them right away. This habit keeps your inbox clear and prevents a building of unnecessary messages. You'll be amazed at how much lighter and more focused you feel with an inbox that no longer drains your attention. With your files and inbox now streamlined, the next step in organizing your digital life is tackling your calendar to make sure your time goes to what truly matters without feeling overloaded. Since I want to keep things simple and lazy friendly here, I'm not going to dive into my own detailed approach to calendar management, one that I've refined over more than 10 years with techniques like color coding, time blocking, and zero-based scheduling. Instead, let's look at a straightforward approach you can start using right away. The first thing I'd recommend is a simplified version of color coding. Choose three main colors to represent different areas of your professional life, like internal, external, and personal. This way, even with a glance, you'll know how your time is being divided each day without the need for too many categories. Next, let's talk about blocking out time, but in a way that doesn't feel too rigid. Instead of a full zero-based calendar, try a core block for each main area. For example, reserve a morning block for deep work on important tasks an afternoon block for meetings, and an evening block for personal time. You don't have to schedule every detail. Just allocate time to the major parts of your day, which gives you structure without making you feel locked into every minute. And if you're not up for daily deep work blocks, try setting aside a single focus block on your calendar once or twice a week. This is dedicated time to dive into whatever needs your full attention, free from distractions. Think of it as a quick reset button for the week, giving you space to handle priority tasks without daily commitment. And finally, to keep things manageable, schedule a short catch-up block at the end of each week. This is when you can address any tasks that may have slipped through or prepare for what's coming up in the next week. It's an easy way to feel organized without a major time investment. Now let's wrap up by tackling one of the trickiest parts of digital organization, password management. We all know it's essential, but it often feels like a true chore. But while being lazy with passwords can be risky, keeping them secure doesn't have to be complicated. With just a few simple steps, you can protect your accounts and stay organized without the usual hassle. The simplest approach, use a trusted password manager. With one of these, you only need to remember a single main password and it takes care of the rest. Most password managers can even create strong, unique passwords for each account so you're not stuck reusing the same 
password everywhere or trying to come up with crazy new ones every time. Some great options include LastPass for multiple device sync, One Password for family sharing, Dashlane with dark web monitoring, Bitwarden for strong free features, and NordPass for easy setup and password health checks. Many of these have mobile versions, which are perfect for managing passwords on the go. I started using a mobile-friendly password manager at the beginning of this year and it saved me countless times when I needed a password on the spot. If a password manager isn't your style, another option is keeping a secure encrypted document. Create a single node that's password protected and list your passwords in there. Just be sure to name it something discreet, nothing obvious like passwords, so it doesn't stand out. For example, to encrypt a document in Microsoft Office, open your file in Word, Excel or another Office app. Go to File, then select Info, choose Protect Document or Protect Workbook or Presentation, depending on the app you're in, and select Encrypt with password. Then enter a strong password and save the document. Now it will require the password to open, securing your document effectively. For added security without the extra hassle, enable two-factor authentication on essential accounts like email and banking. This simple step means that even if someone guesses a password, they can't access the account without that second layer of verification, usually on your phone. So as I've shown, there are some super simple and lazy ways to kick start organizing your digital life. But beyond these quick fixes, creating a truly organized digital space can still feel overwhelming if you're unsure where to start or what steps to take. So watch this video next, where I'll walk you through the complete approach to transforming your digital space, making productivity easier than ever.